The U.S. ambassador to Somalia has come out with a strong endorsement of the current offensive against the Al-Shabaab terror group. Ambassador Larry Andre participated in an online discussion put together by Fainus International. Fainus describes itself as a platform for disruptive ideas in the Horn of Africa. The podcast was hosted by noted development expert and activist Hodan Ali, representing the federal government. Senior Security Advisor Kamale Gutale outlined the importance of the current military campaign. Uh, the ongoing operations uh, now show its commitment of the Somali people in defeating Al Shabaab, and the intent of the Somali government to support and stand stand by its people. The combating Al Shabaab is our biggest agenda as a government, and we are keen to work with our partners to materialize this effort and this momentum. Recently, the Council of Ministers have passed a strategy on combating Al Shabaab, which is based on 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 uh, core platforms, which is to counter Al Shabaab through ideological uh, fronts and through military and also through cutting their finances. Ambassador Andre, in his opening statement, stated the importance of defeating the terrorists. It is uh, uh, absolutely necessary uh, to uh, defeat Al Shabaab in order to accomplish all of uh, the people of, uh, of Somalia's other goals. Later, he spoke about the success of the ongoing operations. We haven't seen a Somali-led, Somali-initiated offensive uh, against um, Al Shabaab ever to compare to this one. Uh, there was uh, in 19, there was an, uh, an offensive, but it was not primarily um, Somali initiated in our judgment. Um, you had the liberation of Mogadishu um, that was at Miss, uh, Amasam at the time led. This is easily uh, the, uh, the, the greatest offensive and most successful offensive ever. And we say what makes the difference is that combination of the local um, uh, communities, uh, uh, their uprising supported by the Somali security forces. Um, uh, we would note uh, that there has been atmos, um, uh, especially um, in the way of the, the Ugandan uh, contingent um, helping with casualty evacuation, some help from the Djiboutian contingent uh, and other international partners, including ourselves, have played small supporting roles small supporting roles, including ourselves. It's a Somali effort, uh, and that's uh, something that, uh, that we really see as different from everything that's gone on. The American diplomat referred to the small role the U.S. has had. One airstrike they made killed a senior Al-Shabaab official who was rumored to be ready to take over leadership of the organization. Another panelist, terrorism expert Samira Gaid, explained government military cooperation with Klan militias, known as Ma'awizli. She points out that the Al-Shabaab has targeted specific clans, galvanizing their support for federal forces. I think the timing of this, um, this specific uprising is interesting because it came as a new government was coming in with a president who has articulated and reaffirmed his commitment to eradicating the group. And so I think uh, they have made some mistakes, fatal mistakes in, in some cases, by putting a lot of pressure on specific clans, specifically in Hiran and in, uh, in Galmudug at the wrong time. And what happened is when these clans are targeted and the government is ready to support the clans and work uh, with the clans, as we have seen, SNA leading, going onto the ground, uh, MPs uh, also going down to their communities, supporting their communities from the front. Then you see the kind of momentum and opportunity that we currently have. While the fight against Al-Shabaab dominated most of the conversation, they did get around to talking about the drought. Uh, I can just speak for the American people. Uh, 80% of all support internationally has come uh, from my country, and it began early. Uh, uh, we, we hope that it will be enough. Washington has so far contributed $870 million to drought relief in Somalia. ADN-TV will continue to report on security developments in Somalia. Somalia.